special pregnancies and additional nutritional needs, having a baby is a special event in a woman's life and requires her to take extra care of herself. Her calorie intake will increase, although not as much as some women may think, and her protein needs will also be higher to support her body and her growing baby. But, when a woman is carrying twins or even triplets it becomes even more important for her to take good care of herself. There are two types of twins, monozygotic and dizygotic, more commonly referred to as identical and fraternal twins, respectively. Identical twins occur when a single egg splits immediately after fertilization and develops into two individual fetuses. They will share a placenta and amniotic sac and are genetically identical to one another. Fraternal twins start as two eggs, fertilized by two sperm, and have their own placenta and amniotic sac. These twins are not always of the same sex, and they may not even look alike. Genetically they are no more alike than other siblings who are born to the same mother and father. Michelle has taken a home pregnancy test which is surprisingly positive. She is shocked because she is older and her menstrual cycle has been shockingly erratic lately. Convinced that the test is wrong, she laughingly calls her doctor and tells him what is going on. She is given a blood test and a physical exam, which not only confirms the pregnancy but raises additional questions, including why her hormone levels are elevated so high. An ultrasound shows that she is in fact pregnant but that there are two fetuses in her uterus. Michelle's is considered to be a high-risk pregnancy for several reasons. First, she is older than the average mother, which puts her at risk for additional pregnancy-related conditions as well as putting her babies at risk for a number of conditions as well. The most common of these conditions in older mothers is Down's syndrome. Second, because she is carrying twins, Michelle is at a higher risk for complications. Finally, Michelle's previous pregnancies were not problem-free, with one resulting in preterm birth and both being marred by gestational diabetes. To make sure that both she and her unborn babies are kept as healthy as possible, Michelle will have to have more frequent health checkups with an obstetrician than she would if she were only carrying one baby. In addition, she will have more frequent ultrasounds to make sure that both twins are developing equally and normally. She may have to come to the doctor every other week starting in the second trimester, months 4-6, and then once a week in the third trimester, the seventh month to birth. Twins often come earlier than single births, another factor that she will have to be watched for. Because she is carrying twins, Michelle will need more of certain nutrients, including folic acid, calcium, iron, protein, and other essential nutrients. Most doctors will prescribe a prenatal vitamin automatically, and in addition, blood tests will determine if an iron supplement is needed as well. Michelle will be guided as to how much weight she needs to gain for the optimal health of her twins, which will probably be around 35 pounds to 45 pounds because she is currently at her ideal weight. She will work on increasing her daily calories by just a little over 500 with the help of a nutritionist. Other problems that Michelle is having include heartburn and morning sickness. The doctor tells her that to remedy both of these problems she should eat many meals so that her stomach is not empty but also not overly full at any point. He also suggests that Michelle keep a small protein-rich snack at her bedside to eat before rising in the mornings to further combat the morning sickness. One of the snacks that Michelle has started using is Profect, from Protica, which is a liquid protein supplement. Because it is small, she can consume it in only seconds and there are a number of fruit-based flavors to enjoy. Michelle likes the blue raspberry swirl the best. For each single serving of Profect, she gets 25 grams of protein, 100 calories, and zero fats or carbohydrates. In addition, she will get a full day's worth of vitamin C and 10% of the required daily need for the vitamin B complex. Because they are heat stable and do not need to be refrigerated, she can keep the vials in her bedside table for convenience. Protein is important to a pregnant woman's diet because she will be creating new tissues, the amniotic sac, the placenta, and the baby as well. Her need is highest in the second and third trimester when the baby's growth is the fastest. When she feels better, she also knows that a protein-carbohydrate-based breakfast will keep her feeling energized and ready to face the day. She also knows that it will keep her insane cravings at bay as well. Her doctor tells her that a little chocolate every now and then, her current obsession, will not hurt her as long as she is not going overboard. If she opts for dark chocolate, she also gets a boost of healthy antioxidants as well. Possible complications of multiple pregnancies There are a number of possible problems that Michelle is at higher risk for during her pregnancy. These include, high blood pressure, all pregnant women are at risk for developing high blood pressure during their pregnancy, which puts them and their babies at risk for other health conditions. Pregnancy-induced hypertension typically develops in the last trimester of pregnancy when weight gain is at its fastest. It occurs in 5 to 8 percent of all pregnancies and is more prevalent in multiple pregnancies and those that are obese at the start of their pregnancy. This is also called preeclampsia and, if not properly monitored and treated, can progress to eclampsia, a life-threatening condition. Symptoms of preeclampsia include high blood pressure, proteinuria, protein in the urine, and edema. Source, AMA, 2005, preterm birth, multiples rarely occur at a term, 40 weeks is considered a full term for pregnancy. 
While it is common for twins to come early, if they come before they are fully developed, there will be health problems and potential developmental issues for the babies. Babies that are born before 32 weeks are considered to be at higher risk for complications related to their birth, which can include low birth weight, breathing or digestive problems, learning disabilities, and behavioral or emotional disorders. One twin can be born early while the other will remain in the womb, but this is rare. Source, The Mayo Clinic 2009 Twin twin transfusion, this problem, related to identical twins, happens when a blood vessel in the placenta connects the baby's circulatory systems, which leaves one baby getting too much blood while the other gets too little. The babies are usually delivered as soon as possible to prevent complications. C-section delivery, C-section delivery is common with multiples, especially if the babies are going to be born prematurely. For multiples higher than twins, C-section is the safest method of birth.